Hey, hey, hey! Okay, so I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of scared for, for Xenoblade Three to come out. I kind of almost don't want it to happen, and that's for a good reason. Okay, and now that may sound weird, but let me try and explain. So Xenoblade Three is going to be a very very good game as we all know but I feel like it's gonna be so good and too good that I'm gonna forget about Xenoblade 2 right now y'all know as you know I always say Xenoblade 2 is like my favorite game ever like number one favorite game of all time you know how it's changed my life and how I you know my perspective on the world and other people and just relationships with people Xenoblade 2 you know has impacted me a lot and you know i don't want to forget about that not not really like forget but i don't want to i don't i don't want to enjoy it less than i do you know, okay a perfect example is pokemon okay uh gen 7 like the alola games well uh, sun moon ultra sun ultra moon pokemon ultra moon is my favorite pokemon game ever i love Alola, everything about it. The music is some of my favorite in the entire franchise. A lot of Pokemon I like are, you know, from Alola. A lot of the Alola Pokemon I like, with Mimikyu being my number one favorite, you know, which is from Alola. The region itself, I love the aesthetic of it. Uh, I love the Aether Foundation. I think they're really cool. Um, Guzma's battle theme, God, that's, that shit is so good. Um, and just like the the trials too, I prefer the trials over the gems. I think the trials are a lot more not really innovative, but they're more engaging. I prefer the trials over gems. I don't know. There's just so much about Alola that I like so much, but it's kind of overshadowed in three because my first ever Pokemon game was Pokemon Emerald. So you know, Hoenn. It has a special place in my heart and like I didn't realize how much I loved the Hoenn games until I went back you know and replayed Alpha Sapphire like before uh, Sun and Moon came out Alpha Sapphire was like my most played Pokemon game like I played the shit out of that every day all day playing Pokemon Alpha Sapphire because I just love Hoenn that much until you know Alola came back around but it wasn't until recently when I went back and played through of Sapphire, I was like, damn, I forgot how much I love this game and how good it is, you know? And I don't want that to happen with Xenoblade 2 when Xenoblade 3 comes out. Because when Xenoblade 3 comes out, literally, like, next week, like the week, you know, in two weeks, um, you know, I'm going to be focusing on nothing but Xenoblade 3. I'm not going to play anything but Xenoblade 3 for a fat minute for, you know, at least like a couple months, all right? So like, I don't want to forget everything that happened in Xenoblade 2. I don't want to forget Nia and Jin and Bridget. What? Mithra? I mean, Mithra is coming back in Xenoblade 3. Whether that's a spoiler or not, who knows? I could be lying, I could be not lying. For all y'all know, I could have been had a preview, you know, had a review copy, you know, been playing it this whole time and just not showed y'all anything until release day. You never know, right? You, you just don't. But yeah, I almost kind of don't want Xenoblade 3 to happen. Because if, you know, if it doesn't happen, then, you know, I still got Xenoblade 2. And I won't forget all of the good times I had. Xenoblade 2. But I know Xenoblade 3 is going to be so, so much better. And I'm going to have even better moments and memories with Xenoblade 3 than I did with 2. Like my first playthrough of Xenoblade 2, that's like the hypest I've ever gotten with any game ever. Now just imagine that with Xenoblade 3. Like I already get hype enough as it is and the game's not even out yet. But wait until the game actually drops? Oh my shit. Like god damn. I need this game already, alright? Y'all don't understand, I need this game. Like Nintendo, just drop it two weeks early. Alright, y'all pushed it up two whole months early. We were supposed to get in September, but imagine if we still had to wait till September for this game. 
I don't think I'd be able to survive, alright? I don't know what I'd do. I wouldn't be able to wait that long. But two weeks. You yeah, literally have less than two weeks left. Like, why can't Nintendo just drop it two weeks early? Like, that's not gonna hurt anybody. I'll push it up two months early. Why can't y'all push it up just two weeks early? It's a win-win for everybody. Because, yeah, I'm sure there's like a law or whatever preventing that. But, you know, fuck the law, alright? <laughs> Nintendo's gonna make enough money generated from the sales of Xenoblade 3. And, you know, they can use that money to fight that that lawsuit and that legal case so it's a win-win for everyone they get the money to fight the case and we get the game early i see nothing but positives here <laughs> what's stopping them from just dropping it two weeks early right yeah they'll gotta go to court or whatever but fuck that fuck the law all right <laughs> i need this game now i need zero way three in my hands in my switch you know i need these visuals penetrating my eyeballs right now so I can get that dopamine overdose. I really need my serotonin overdose right now. Right? I need this game. This is gonna be like the most this is gonna be the most antagonizing two weeks of my life. The longest two weeks of my entire life. Like this past couple days I've been bored out of my mind with nothing to do because I just don't want to do anything but play Xenoblade 3 all day. Alright, y'all don't understand. This shit is so <laughs> But yeah, um, Little Light 3 is coming out July 29th, which is literally the Friday after next week. Alright, it's still unbelievable to think Xenoblade 3 is actually a real thing. Alright, it's so surreal. It's like, it's right here. I'm looking at it. It's like actually happening. This is real. I never thought I'd see the day that Xenoblade 3 was actually, you know, a thing. Right? So, in here this whole time, but, you know, way back in February when we had that direct where Xenoblade 3 was revealed. This whole time I was hoping, you know, please let us get an export, you know, a port, you know, a Xenoblade export to Switch. That's all I want right now. Please announce it in this direct. But I'm also really happy that that didn't happen because, you know, we got Xenoblade 3 instead, which is infinitely better. I kind of did the same thing with Metroid Dread, you know, when Metroid Dread was rumored to be announced in one of the directs. I was like, damn, I kind of don't want a new, uh, a new 2D Metroid game. I just want a, uh, a Prime Trilogy port. And that's all I really want. And then Metroid Dread was announced, and I was kind of mad. All right, I was kind of pissed that we got Dread and not the Prime Trilogy, um, you know, port. But over time, you know, as the game was up to release and after playing the game, I'm so glad we got Dread over the Prime Trilogy port. It's it's the same situation with X. Alright, obviously I was excited and hella hype, you know, as soon as Xenoblade 3 was announced. But before that, I was just thinking, all I want is an X port right now to Switch. Even though I already have X on the Wii U, and I play it regularly, alright? I'm over like 100 hours in, and I haven't even beaten the game yet. I'm just like over halfway through the game. <laughs> and I already have 100 hours in at max level. Well, almost at max level, you can see the gameplay in the background right now and speaking of the gameplay in the background right now i finally got new x gameplay all right so y'all don't have to keep watching that same old x gameplay from like months ago i recorded some new x gameplay today so hopefully that you know that'll keep y'all busy watching that while y'all listening to my stupid ass just rant on about nothing <laughs> but yeah i'm really glad we got xenoblade 3 but part of me doesn't want it to happen, but the majority wants it to drop today, <laughs> okay? There's no in-between. It's like, I don't want it to happen, because then, you know, Xenoblade 2, I, I feel like I'm going to forget a lot about Xenoblade 2 and why I like it so much. But Xenoblade 3 is going to do what Xenoblade... Wait, Xenoblade 3 is going to do what Xenoblade 2 did, but astronomically better and more from what i've seen okay i actually folded all right i actually folded and watched the previews i watched like all the preview gameplay i think all of all the preview gameplay that's been you know uploaded to youtube i think i've seen all the preview gameplay that there is right now and holy shit bro when i tell you when i tell you that this game 
is the greatest thing ever created. Oh my god. <laughs> Everything looks so beautiful. The menu, but wait till you see the character, like the main menu, and like the character menu. Holy shit. And like they're taking so many aspects from Xenoblade X, and I couldn't be fucking happier. In terms of like gameplay wise, Xenoblade X is my favorite. Like all the like different mechanics and how everything is set up, I love it. Xenoblade X is incredible. I'd just be a hell of a lot more inclined to play X if it was on the Switch. Like I play X quite a bit already, but I'd be playing it way more if it was on the Switch. Like it, it just takes so long to open up the game on the Wii U because you gotta wait for the Wii U to turn on, then you gotta select your profile, then you have to actually select the game. And since for whatever reason my Wii U won't connect to the Wi-Fi, I gotta sit there and wait for it to say, oh, connecting, and then, you know, communication error because it can't connect, cancel that, and then I finally get to open the game. And then it, you have to sit there and wait for minutes for, you know, it to actually load up to the title screen. And once you're in the title screen, you gotta wait for the game to actually load in. And that all just takes too long. And the Wii U gamepad is just really big and clunky and weird so I would much I'd play X a hell of a lot more if it was on Switch but I'm sure after Xenoblade 3 we I mean, this isn't the Z end of Xenoblade all right Xenoblade 3 is not the end okay as 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 much as you know everything's pointing to it it's not I don't remember when but in a in a interview, in an interview, in an interview, not a interview, in an interview, Takahash Brown himself said he wanted to make, um, this was, I think this was an interview after DE came out, and they were talking about Future Connected, and you know how he said Future Connected is the future of Xenoblade, and like, you can actually find a lot of references to Xenoblade 3 in FC, which is really cool, so I'm probably just gonna like, play through FC again and, you know, look for all of the uh, Xenoblade 3 references and everything. But, um, it was after DE came out, he had an interview and he said he wants to work on a Xenoblade 3, a Xenoblade X2, yes, an X2, an X sequel, and then after the X2, he wants to work on a brand new IP that isn't Xenoblade. It may be another Xeno or maybe something completely different we don't know but it's gonna be a brand new IP so don't, don't lose hope yet a Xenoblade X uh, sequel is coming all right Takahashi wants to work on that and by the way it seems from how much Xenoblade 3 is going to sell the Xenoblade X sequel is looking very very likely all right Xenoblade 2 is the best-selling game in the series obviously but I'm sure Xenoblade 3 is going to surpass that easily by the end of the year. If not in the within the first month, you know, not within August, then definitely by the end of the year, Xenoblade 3 is either going to pass Xenoblade 2 in sales, sales, or get very close to it. I think Xenoblade 2 has like like three three million in sales. I think. Hold on, I'm going. I'm gonna look it up real quick, but I think Xenoblade 2 Xenoblade 2 sold Okay, yeah, right here. Xenoblade 2. Oh my that's less than I thought. Xenoblade 2 Xenoblade 2 sold 1.73 million by the end of March 2019. Okay, as of December 31st, 2020. Xenoblade 2 has sold 2.17 million units. 2.7 mil. Xenoblade 3 is easily gonna pass 2.7 mil within like a whole year. Or by the time the new story scenario comes out, Xenoblade 3 would have passed 3 million. All right, 3 mil. I, I, I feel it, all right, I just feel it. E Xenoblade does better with each game released. Obviously Xenoblade 1 or Xenoblade X sold, I think, uh, wait, I know, I don't think X sold more than one. I think X sold less than one because, you know, it was on the Wii U and everything. 
but 2 sold more than X. DE didn't sell as much as 2 because, you know, it's just a remaster of the first game. And a lot of people weren't willing to, you know, buy it. But Xenoblade 3 is going to do way better than all of them. See, it's, it's, it's Switch treatment, alright? Switch treatment. I like this. It's, it's, I like to call it Switch treatment. That Because a lot of games that come to the Switch sell a, a hell of a lot. Like, I don't know what it is about the Switch, but every time a game comes to the Switch, it sells incredibly. Breath of the Wild is something, but it's still top 5 best selling um, Switch games. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is the highest. Uh, Animal Crossing New Horizons sold a shit ton. Splatoon 2 sold a shit ton. Smash Ultimate sold a shit ton. I'm pretty sure Pikmin 3 Deluxe sold more than the Wii U version. I think. A lot of the Wii U ports, I think the Switch version sold more than the Wii U versions. But even then, Metroid Dread is the best selling Metroid game in the whole franchise already. And I, I, I'm pretty sure it became the best selling game week one or I think, was it week one? I think it was either week one or month one. I think it was month one. It became the highest selling Metroid game in Japan at least. But. Yeah, it's the Switch treatment. Anytime a game comes to Switch, it just blows up and does incredibly well. So just wait till Persona 5 or Nier Automata comes to Switch later this year. They're going to get so much money off of that, especially from Persona 5. And we get Persona 3, 4, and 5. So, yeah, I'm just waiting for Bayonetta 3, but that drops on October 28th. Oh! But... Oh, I'm just so hyped. There's so many games. There's so many games coming out. All right, that I, that I need to get. We're getting Xenoblade 3 in literally two weeks. All right, and then two months after that, Splatoon 3 comes out. And then, like a week after that, Trails from Zero comes out. And then like three weeks after that, Bayonetta 3 comes out, and then a month after that, Pokemon Violet comes out. There's like so many goddamn games I need to buy this year. It's insane. Holy shit. But, um, yeah, here I go ranting again. 17 minute long video, and like, I'm over here ranting about stuff that isn't even Xenoblade related. But, yeah, I'm kind of scared for Xenoblade 3 to happen because I don't want to forget about 2. But I also know I want Xenoblade 3 to happen because you know, we haven't had a Xenoblade game in five years, not counting DE. Like not since the first, you know, the last original Xenoblade game has been five years ago. All right, it, it's half a decade. It's 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 long enough. All right, it's been long enough. So it's about time we play or we get a new Xenoblade. And regarding Xenoblade 3, all right. We've been waiting for this since September or February, over half a year. I'm going to take my time with this game. Like for my playthrough, it's not going to be you no know, type of like conventional playthrough or just go through the story. I am doing everything. I'm going to do all the side quests, like explore everything, talk to everybody. I'm just, I'm getting every. I'm doing everything, right? It's been. Five years since the last Xenoblade game, so it's about time we got another one, and you best believe I am taking my time and enjoying everything there is to enjoy, because it's gonna be like a decade, you know, until we get the next Xenoblade game. So I gotta make sure I, you know, enjoy it to the fullest. So my my playthrough of this game is gonna be like 300 episodes long, and I don't care. <laughs> All right, it's gonna take however long it takes. Because I'm going to be doing everything I can. Alright, getting all the heroes. I'm maxing out getting all their classes. Maxing out all the master arts. All the class ranks. Uh, leveling up all the arts. Get it. I'm doing everything. Min maxing like a motherfucker. I'm doing everything. And then after my eventual, you know, after I finally beat Xenoblade 3, like three months after it comes out, I'm going to start doing challenge joins for Xenoblade Alright, and I already have an idea. My first challenge run, I'm probably gonna be like, can you be Xenoblade 3 with only healers? So I can just I just make everyone a healer class and just go through the game like that. 
it may you know it may seem kind of easy since you know a whole team of healers can't really die but healers aren't that strong okay and they tend to take a lot of aggro so i was thinking oh i can give everyone a different healer class like i can give i can give someone i can have you know uni and ty on they're already healers and then i can give like a war medic you know baldi's class to somebody and just have everyone have a different you know healer class that'd be kind of nice but there's so much potential in this game for like so many challenge runs and just those locks are just whatever there's just so much content you can make on this game all right so like in xenoblade 3 if you haven't yet like make a youtube channel and start like making xenoblade 3 content when the game drops because there's going to be so many unique things that no one has thought of before and you might be the first one to think of and you know why not you know make some content on that put it on youtube like here uh, my channel, I never thought I'd get to where I am now. I'm like, what, 533 subscribers right now? When I was only sitting around like 120 before Xenoblade 3 was announced. I started like actually making Xenoblade 3 content, or making Xenoblade content, like a week before 3 was announced. What kind of shit is that? But you know, I started making Xenoblade 2 videos like a week before Xenoblade 3 was announced. And then I made, you know, my trailer analysis video i think i was the first one to but like that shit blew up and that grew my channel a lot and ever since i've been just making xenoblade 3 content i've been growing a lot since then like i never thought i'd hit 500 i thought 200 was a pipe dream i thought that was impossible and i'm damn near you know i'm over halfway to a thousand so for all i know i could hit a thousand by the end of the year when xenoblade 3 drops you know, a lot of people are going to be watching Xenoblade 3 content. So, if you haven't made a channel yet, make a channel and start making Xenoblade 3 content. It's going to be wild. It's going to be one wild ride, alright? So, but yeah, there's so much content you can make just off the game. Like, you're not going to be able to run out of content for a long time. Especially with all the new DLC coming, that just adds even more greatness like oh this game has so much into it and apparently based on like um i think i heard from someone else that a preview said that um they spent about like 15 hours just in chapter one so i don't you know i don't know how trustworthy trustworthy a game reviewer is on their playtime but 15 hours in just the very beginning of the game is fucking insane, alright? Torna itself was about 15 to 20 hours long. So, like, imagine the whole first chapter of Xenoblade 3 is the length of Torna. That's fucking insane, what do you need 15 hours? Like, that just goes to show how much material and just content is packed into this game. Oh my god, I can't wait to play the shit out of this when it drops. And literally, like, less than two weeks, right? It's gonna be the longest two weeks of my life, goddamn. But, uh, yeah, I think I've talked <laughs> for long enough about nothing. I always go off topic and go on and on and on. This is what I'm saying. So I need to start a podcast, alright? Because I'll have a topic I want to talk about. I talk about it for a little bit, and then... You know, I bring up something, you know, off topic. It's like, oh, let me talk about that for a little bit. Then I keep going on and on and on about that. And then I mentioned something else inside that. I was like, oh, okay. And I go on and on about that. And next thing you know, I'm like 30 levels off topic talking about fucking building dams with giraffes in Antarctica or some stupid shit like that. But yeah, I tend to get off topic and off track you know, distracted very easily, as y'all can tell, but, um, yeah, so, I'm gonna end the video here, as, you know, not to make y'all ears bleed any longer, this video was a hell of a lot longer than I thought it would be, and longer than, you know, I wanted it to be, I thought it was just gonna be a couple minutes, but we're damn near half an hour of me just talking about it, but, um, yeah, that's really about it, so, as always, Thanks for watching. Have a damn good day. Hey, safe.
Yeah. Dino Blade.